So James, a group of shareholders in Citigroup want to take on the mighty Department of Justice. What are they thinking? Well, I mean, investors in, uh, in Citigroup think 10 billion fine on um, their kind of mortgage-backed security kind of uh, um, wrongdoings or alleged wrongdoings are simply too much. And they basically want to draw a line in the sand and take them to court. This is unusual. Uh, other banks, in particular JP Morgan, has settled for 13 billion. Uh, there's Bank of America, which is in, also in talks with the DOJ. Apparently, they could be selling for 17 billion. But both JP Morgan and Bank of America had a much bigger portfolio than, um, than Citigroup. So there's a bit of a surprise. The 10 billion figure seems disproportionate compared to the others, simply because the fine would be an 11% uh, of their overall. Um, portfolio versus 2% for JP Morgan and Bank of America. So the city investors are right. This is a disproportionate fine. It's a very large amount of money, and it's essentially shareholders' money that will be paid to the DOJ. Absolutely, they should stand their ground and fight, no? Actually, not. I mean, it would be mad for them to go to court uh, for the simple reason is that the DOJ is in a position to kind of potentially put a lot of pressure on Citigroup if they decide to go to court which means they could potentially revoke uh, the, uh, some of the bank's licenses. Uh, they could go after some of its bankers. And, I mean, the track record uh, of, of companies going after the DOJ is, is pretty bad. I mean, uh, the majority of them have lost cases. And so it, it needs to think very calmly, like, what is the best strategy? And the best strategy is not to go after after the UJ, it's like it's too big, it's too dangerous, and eventually, if they lose, their whole business could come down. So, potentially, a very dangerous move for, for Citigroup if they do take on the DOJ. What's the alternative? How bad would the settlement be if it is 10 billion? This the, the figure that's suggested. How how difficult is a, is a fine of that size for a city? Well, a settlement wouldn't be great. 10 billion is indeed a massive fine, and I think, as I said, they have a point. That I think that the aggressiveness of the DOJ is questionable. Uh, but nevertheless, even if they, like, kind of this, the city decided to sit down and, and push the DOJ to kind of sweeten the deal to, say, maybe $6 billion, uh, I mean, they could then actually talk of the pain on their, for example, on their capital ratio uh, would be much smaller. I mean, it would go down probably about 50 basis points, according to JP Morgan, uh, which would leave them about 10%. So still above uh, above many of its peers so i mean they could they could handle it it would definitely hurt it would the city doesn't need this at, at this stage it's gone through a difficult period but it would survive and the other scenario is definitely not delightful so yes a, a, a tricky uh, decision then for city executives perhaps the uh, the more sensible route will be to settle uh, james thanks very much